Okay, so then they okay, move. So they uh, move this. during that introduction music. Move. They move the. Okay, so we have them in the. Uh, we have the center light. Mm hmm. And he leaves. We'll he take leaves, that out. Take that out. And okay. actually, this could also be just some like dim backlit. And then once the there's a uh, tremolo percussion thing that happens that is going to last about maybe six seconds, where she puts the uh, coat, hat, and glasses on him. Okay. And when the mu music kicks in, is when they start making out. My name is Sabrina Darby, and I am the stage manager for Five Course Love, a musical, which is the fundraiser for the Mizell School here in Tulsa. And um, today we are having a meeting with our director, Peter Westerhoff, and our lighting designer, Jeff Darby, um, and myself. And we are doing uh, what we generally refer to as a paper tech is probably the best word to describe that. Um, Essentially, we are going through the entire script and writing down all the pertinent technical cues. So there's, in this particular production, there's light cues, there's going to be some sound cues, and we have two follow spots that we're operating. So my job, when we actually get to the space, um, and particularly, obviously, during the, the evening of the performance, will be to call all of those cues. So essentially, nobody does anything. Um, tech-wise until I tell them to um, and hopefully I'm telling them at the right time. I'm Peter Westerhoff. I am directing Five Course Love and um, we are almost near the end of our rehearsal period so by the time we actually walk in to do tech the cast is ready to go I mean because there's no time to keep on directing the cast at that time. Um, and I met yesterday with April Madden, and we went through costumes, and we've got some really fun costumes. Uh, and uh, I'm not going to even explain some of them because the sight gag would be gone if I explained everything. I'm Jeff Darby. I'm doing the lighting design for Five Course Left. My job is in the lighting design is interpreting what Peter uh, wants to do. Uh, two, keeping all this, hopefully all this, which is here, I'll be able to read it once we get done. And then also, because we're in a space that doesn't have lights or anything, actually to bring in just the amount of lights we're going to use and, uh, uh, you know, setting it up in a way where it's not in the way of other things and, and all those things. So I have some ideas, um, which will spring on Peter later. And... Uh, but but really, it's it's just in, in interpreting and making sure all of us are on the same page as far as uh, bringing this to life. The lighting designer and stage manager and I kind of all pretty much know the script pretty well and the uh, music. So as we're talking about music bridges or transitions, they kind of have that playing in their head at the same time without us having to... I don't have to sing it to them, thank goodness. Um, uh, it's a long process to go through a paper tech. And usually I find that if you have a long paper tech, then it's going to be a very long or difficult tech. If it's a short paper tech, it tends to be much easier. I think the longest paper tech I ever had was 14 hours. And it took five days to get through the tech. And on opening night, the set designers turn to me and goes, I'm frightened. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but I don't think this is going to take much more than, what, another hour and a half or so. Two days or so. Yeah. <laughs> we know it's going to be good, and you're going to want to see it. <laughs> My the hardest part is just being able to read what I've written today. Once I get past that, <laughs> hey, it's a breeze, right? There you go. Yeah.